All right, guys. Hopefully, you can hear me pretty good. Um, I'm on my way to an auction. Plus, I wanted to say the last storage unit that uh, the $600 one, my pretty much my first one. I just shipped off that uh, rigid 700 pipe threader. I uh, got $850 for it. Uh, charged $85 shipping and handling. Uh, did it in two packages because it was like 75 pounds altogether. Uh, FedEx packed it myself. Normally on stuff that expensive, I plug them pack it. But at 75 pounds, I was, I was scared that my $75 shipping was going to turn into $200 worth of shipping because I don't get any discounts when I let them do it. But anyways, so like I said, that $600 unit, I did it, it, everything together was $1,100. I was at um, $1,170 when the pipe thing sold. Uh, I've sold uh, about $1,050 worth of stuff on eBay that came from that unit. I still have the wire uh, tugger. Uh, I got a lady today coming to pick up the pilot jack. Uh, sold that for $150. I got another lady coming Saturday afternoon to pick up that leather chair. She hasn't given me an offer, but I've got it listed for $150, so $100, $150 is cool by me. Um, I think when I when I totaled up the whole thing, it was about $3,300 worth of stuff. Uh, if I got max value off of eBay. Um, this facility I'm going to now, I've never been there. Uh, they are on auctions to go. I think that's what the website is. You gotta pay for that one. I think it's like $8.80 to, uh, to have that one a month. Um, and and, and it does all auctions, but it does all kinds of storage. Um, you can set it up for a state, whatnot. But I got mine set on storage. And um, this facility I'm going to, that's the only place they list. They don't put their stuff on auction zip. They don't put it in the paper. Um, and then there's another one. I want to say it's called auctionlist.com. Uh, and that one's very rarely has storage on it unless it's a storage treasure or a locker fox that's listed let them know that there's something going online and as far as I know those are the only three places to find auctions through lists if anybody else knows something hey you know put it in the comments um, but you know uh, since I put the last ones up I've gotten a few more subscriptions I know I'm just starting out, um, and, and I will get better. <laughs> I, I, it would help uh, if you, you know, if it helped. I don't know if you've seen that guy, but it'll help if you if you click click that subscription button, uh, like subscription. Uh, right now, it's not really letting me do live. Uh, don't know, but this unit, this one I'm going to, uh, they put the people's names down. So I did a little Facebook stocking. Um, one of the units uh, looks like it could be military. The guy's got a bunch of pictures and fatigues. So, uh, but he doesn't really have anything else on his page. So I don't know. Uh, it also looks like a smaller unit. It's probably a five by 10 or a five by five. Um, the next unit, which is the one I'm interested in, is a college unit. I am in a college town, UNCW. Um, it is, I'm almost 100% positive it's a college chick. Um, and I like those because I've gotten probably six or seven of those. And one thing about the college females lockers, you know, they don't want to move the stuff when they got their big expensive job. And they think that all their stuff is is no good because they got this they're out of college and they got that great job so they leave all the stuff and when they leave all the stuff there's a good chance of finding you know a broken ring or, or a leftover ring I, I found just about every locker that I found 
that had been a college female's locker, I found some quarter, some kind of gold or silver, and I found high-end good stuff like, you know, working laptops or GoPros, stuff like that. So, I mean, better chance of finding an actual phone that doesn't have a cracked screen because, well, college and um, somebody bought them a new camera or a new phone and, and they just discarded the other one. Uh, and then the third one, uh, it's kind of iffy. Um, the guy's Facebook page, uh, well, there was a lot of uh, memes that had to do with uh, marijuana and stuff. And there was a lot of gangster looking stuff in there, which doesn't mean that can't be a bad locker either. But um, other storage guys would say tweaker unit, and that's what I think it is. Um, so there's three units. Uh, the auction's not for like another hour. Um, but I'm heading into town. I'm going to go get an oil change. And uh, this is April the 10th. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good. My van does not have air conditioning, so I have the redneck air conditioning. Every window I can open is open. Um, so, uh, I'll let you know. I know I'm not going to go to a new facility and try to record. Um, maybe I can let you see in the unit, and uh, we'll go from there. This is one place, like I said, I've never been. Uh, my buddy Brandon, he's told me about this several times, but uh, I don't know. This month has started a new era for us. Last month I, I paid off a lot of my bills. I, I paid off about $1,000 worth of my bills, and um, it's making my life a lot easier. Uh, we are in the process of looking for a home. Um, we got to wait for my taxes to come in. It's supposed to be here by Thursday. And uh, go talk to our, our mortgage broker and see if it's even possible. If not, we'll wait another year. We'll take the money we got in the bank and we'll pay off the rest of our bills. Everything except the car that got bought last year. But if I paid off the rest of my bills, it would free up another $450 a month in my bills. So for me, that would be killer because then I would have no problem setting aside twelve, fourteen hundred dollars a month to uh, save for a house for next year. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's it's uh, in our area. We're looking like a fourteen hundred, eighteen hundred square foot home, um, dormer house, two car garage, at least an acre of property with no restrictions. So either it has a a building on the property or I could build one on there um, I really don't want to rent a warehouse or any of that other crap I, I've uh, last year when I did my taxes um, I always keep saying it's it's no big deal for storage because it's just it's just my overhead and my overhead is like a thousand dollars a month so that's no building no storage no nothing I, I operate out of my house and uh, gas in my van and then storage units and last year I paid almost fifty four hundred dollars in storage units and I would much rather be putting that fifty four hundred dollars towards a building that I own um, so that's that that's hopefully the next evolution worse Worst case scenario, we stay where we're at for another year and I pay another $5,400. So, I, somebody had suggested going out and buying a piece of land and then putting a building on it, but I'm worried that if I do that, then it'll make my debt ratio look wrong to where when it does come time to buy a house, we won't be able to do that. So. I'm just, I'm just trying to do right by this business. Um, uh, I still got to talk to a CPA this year. Right now, I'm currently running my business as a sole proprietor. Um, I, I'm really thinking that I want to go LLC just to... Huh. I, 
didn't feel good. My van just started running a little rough. I just filled up the gas tank. Maybe I got a little crap in it. But it does need an oil change. I am about 4,000 miles over what I needed for an oil change. So, and it likes oil because it's a Ford. And uh, it leaks oil because it's a Ford. But I wouldn't trade this van in for anything right now unless I could afford a payment, which I really don't want a payment right now because we're trying to get that debt ratio right. I mean, our debt ratio right now is in the teens, and unfortunately, you know, I put this big hop to getting my credit right and just found out that they're going to use the lowest of our two credit scores, which is would be my wife's, and she's in the mid-600s, and I'm in the low 700s, so really sucks that we can't use my credit score. Um, <laughs> but, uh, like I said, there's three units. I haven't even called on the place to see if if uh, the, uh, the they're all there, uh, but we did our stop. We dropped the pipe threader off for the FedEx drop off. Um, they always love it when I pull in there with my uh, my my little dolly, and I have packages on it because they know if I don't want to lift it, they know it's heavy. Uh, the pipe threader was like 46 pounds, and then the second box was the dies. The pipe threader and the cutter, the pipe cutter was 46 pounds, and it is wrapped tight. Um, the box isn't rectangle anymore, but there is so much paper and so much tape holding that damn thing together. Plus, I got the insurance on it. Um, hopefully, it doesn't fail me. Worst case scenario, I don't know. I don't know what the worst case scenario would be on that one. <laughs> but, uh,. But got insurance on both the packages, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I tried doing the editing, and it doesn't really let me, like, add videos together. If, if anybody like Storage Auction Pirates or Locker Nuts or Storage Docker that does a lot of videos, if you could tell me what software you're using so I can get it to try to you know add all the videos together because that last little three videos I did I really wanted it to be like combined and the YouTube stuff wouldn't let me do that it would only let me like trim some off of it or blur out something it, it wouldn't let me add pieces together and um, I don't know I just, I just want it to be better, and uh, um, if I do get a locker, then hey, we will go through the lockers, and remember, it'll help if you subscribe, or hit the like button, it's down there somewhere, uh, <laughs> and uh, y'all have a good day, um, I'll get back up with you if something goes on, later.